Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done a detector unboxing, but here we go. So, let me grab my knife here, and probably shouldn't be cutting it towards me. That doesn't seem like a good idea. You're still in frame. All right, I think we're done with that. Okay. Oh, they gave me a little note. How nice. Okay, let's see. How's it going? Thank you. Okay, there it is. So, this here is a Pyrotector Smoke Sentinel uh, 30-52 smoke detector. And you're probably aware I do have units that are similar to this, but this is the first one I have that's actually an original Smoke Sentinel Pyrotector labeled one. So let's take it down here. And this should be the, the little plug, yep, plug thing that goes on there. So, this is the original version of this unit that you've seen on my channel before. This being the M Heart Quick Set Model 357. And this, of course, is the line cord powered model, but this one is hardwired. Now, um, the line cord version, I don't know if I mentioned, and I don't can't remember if I mentioned it in this video, the line cord version, originally the model number was 30-53, not 30-52. The 30-52 is this one right here, which is direct hardwired. So, um... I'm not sure if M Heart also had a version like that. I'm assuming they did, uh, because if the, the, they rebranded the line cord model, I don't see why they wouldn't have rebranded the uh, hardwired version. So, um, this mounting bracket I think comes off with this uh, screw here. So you take the plug off, the little decorative mounting plug there on this one which on this one serves no purpose because um, you can just hang it from that little hook right there. And I do believe this one also, uh, I'll take the bracket off and then we'll look, but uh, let me loosen that screw real quick. All right, screw is out, or it should be. And so now, oh, the bracket just slides right off. And then probably would be easier if I took the wiring harness off, but yeah, so there's the mounting bracket and it probably does also probably would fit on this one too. Actually, let's see. So it was like that. I'd have to feed the cord through, but yeah, it definitely would fit on here too. So the brackets are interchangeable. I'm actually going to leave that one turned over. Uh, yeah, there's that mounting screw that goes in there, and then of course that decorative plug, which just sits on there. Yeah, very neat. Um, so here's the back side of this one, and they did thankfully give me the wiring harness. I'm very, very happy that they gave me that, so I am able to power it up. If they didn't give it to me, I could just cut the cord right here, or cut the wires right here under the harness, but it's always nice to have the original parts. Um, so here's the label on this one. Smoke detector, model 30-52. Chloride pyrotector, Hingham, Massachusetts. Um, input, spec, sensitivity, UL listing. Um, is there a date code? Oh, yeah, there's a date code right there. 79. So this, this one is from 1979. A little bit later than this one, which is from 1977. 
And I kind of expected that because if you look right here, the horn has this little covering over it. Now those, for some reason it seems like they used that on some of them and on others they didn't. Because if you look on my uh, quick set M heart here, it doesn't have that little plastic cover over the horn. That horn also looks different. Let me see if I can't, because I do think uh, these this piece is removable. Let's see. I might be able to. I, I recall, so I recall correctly, um, Jesse of JDL Productions has one of these, and he was also, he was able to remove the cover of his. Um, I don't want to break it, but, uh, yeah, there's no rivet on the diaphragm. So I don't, th that might, is that the, it might be the Faraday one, but it also could be the, um, the Douglas Randall, because they used both. Um, I think they also, they also did use Delta Alarm in the earlier ones, because, as you all know, this one, the, uh, Pyre Sentinel has a Delta Alarm, but I think they only used those in the earliest ones. I can't recall if we've ever seen any of these later plastic models with a uh, Delta Alarms. But yeah, there's the test lever on the side, which hopefully this one's test lever works, because they are known for occasionally breaking internally I think um yeah and then of course there's the vent for that ceramic resistor which of course this one being that it was used is a little bit discolored there from the heat um yeah other than the line cord and that different label on the bottom there they're pretty much the exact same unit yeah exact same thing and of course they also made a version that had a heat sensor I believe that the heat sensor, because it was right underneath of the LED, and I think they stuck the label on like a different side. I could be wrong though, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't taken a close look at one of those in a while. Um, and they also had versions of this one, the 30-04, that had the heat sensor too. So, um, oh and I completely forgot to mention as well. I got this unit uh, used, obviously, from a viewer of my channel who actually found my video of this one, the M Heart, and they used that as like an assistance to help them uninstall it, because I kind of showed how like the plug in the middle comes off and how the bracket works and everything, even though this one doesn't have the bracket. But uh, yeah, so uh, they took down the old one. They contacted me and they asked if I wanted it. And I said, well, sure, I'll take it off your hands. Because I didn't yet have one of these Smoke Sentinel labeled ones. So I paid shipping. A couple days later, here it is. So huge uh, thank you to that individual for uh, sending me the, this detector, reaching out. And I'm very, very happy that I was able to help you with your uninstallation of your unit. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I always love it when there's those nice stories like that to accompany the units. So, um, and I did forget to mention this one does have that little, uh, hanger surface there for the nail. I remember that from Game Alarm's video of his, although I think his was a line cord model as well, like this one. Um, yeah, so I guess now let's go ahead and get this thing wired up and power it on and give it a test. All right, I got her wired up. So let's plug it in and hope for no falsing, no surprises. So here we go, three, two, one. Maybe, ah, there we go. A little chirp, but no falsing. The LED is lit. So now, let's see if I can't give it a test with this test lever. Maybe. This one's like snaps into place. I don't want to force it too hard because I don't want to break it. There we go. Maybe. 
Come on. Oh, oh. Wow, it takes a while for it to go off. Maybe the sensor's dusty or something, but that one like goes off instantly here. Well, not instantly, but you get the idea. Yeah, um, and then as you saw, of course, it like the lever snaps into place. For some reason, I think, because um, I didn't, I didn't realize that that it was like that on this one when I got it. Um, I don't think Jesse's does that. I think his just you simply move over and it goes off. But yeah, the other thing is it's not really that loud, which again leads me to believe that it's also got a Faraday horn because it sounds very similar to this one. Horn looks the same from the diaphragm, so I think this might have a Faraday horn. If I am able to get that back cover off, and I do determine what it is definitively, I will definitely update the description. But for now, I'm just going to say it probably has a Faraday. So let's give it another test. You also got to like, kind of hold it all the way down. Well, that time it went off almost in instantly like that one. Interesting. Yeah. Oh. Falsing, maybe? It sounds like something's rattling in there. Maybe something... Is this, this loose? I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that. Because I know these things are just like compression fit together. They all like snap together. There's no real screws. Um, unlike, you know, the older ones, which are riveted together so yeah um obviously i don't have the manual or original box or anything because i got it used but uh you would saw probably the same or similar to the manual for the m heart model which i do have because i got that one new in the box so if you want to see the manual you can go ahead and look at the manual for that one but uh yeah so that is the pyrotector smoke sensor. There is stuff in there. Might be just dust or dirt or something, but hopefully it's not important. Uh, pyrotector smoke sentinel model 30-52 from 1979. So let's do one more test just for the sake of it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.